हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत्याकाल वेलकम टू अनदर ऑसम सेशन ऑफ कुकिंग विथ फिलिप्स वेर ईच वन ऑफ यू कैन बी सुपर शेफ एज अ स्नैक वी ऑल लव फ्राइड चिकन बट इन इंडिया वी लाइक मोर ऑफ चिकन दैट इज जस्ट मैरिनेटेड नॉट क्रम्ड सम वॉट लाइक तंदूरी चिकन एंड सो ऑन so today i'm going to show you a combination of a tandoori chicken or a fried chicken and we're going to fry it in air fryer or you can call it grilled in air fryer also with philips air fryer unique rapid air technology you can fry most of the foods that you fry using conventional methods not only that you can bake you can roast you can grill more importantly it is very safe to use economical and very easy to keep it clean so first let me show you how to marinate your chicken you know for this i have taken chicken this is uh, you know legs of chicken because in india we just love the legs of chicken more than the breast but even the legs of chicken they have some fat content in the chicken and also we need to brine the chicken so that especially when you're frying grilling or anything you want the chicken to be brined because you don't want to chicken to dry out and it should be cooked in as short as possible time yet it should be slightly juicy also so here is a chicken that has been brined and I have taken only the legs because holding it in the hand and eating is the style we indians love so the chicken is ready which i have put lot of gashes on it and now i'm just going to prepare the uh, marination for this first i'm going to take salt in this i'm going to add <coughs> ginger garlic paste and red chili powder or uh, chili paste chili paste i prefer because i've made it with uh, Uh, Kashmiri chilies, and we can get <coughs> decent red color. That's what we love on your chicken. And a little bit of uh, garam masala powder, not too much. Kasuri methi powder, jeera powder, and a little bit of coriander powder. You can adjust the spices, variety of spices in it. I've seen some people adding also soft powder, star anise seed powder, and give it a distinct flavor. In this, I'm going to add squeeze in some lime juice, and also I'm going to add. some hung curd and mix all of this so this is our thick mixture just make sure the coating is not too much just it should be holding on to the chicken it should be hugging the chicken and making the chicken more flavorful this awesome looking philips air fryer is not only easy to cook but also the basket is non stick coated and very easy to clean and also the smell that is coming from this fryer is so less compared to the regular frying methods now take the chicken leg piece look at this the gashes whatever i gave it has to touch the bone that way the masalas and the uh, spices get inside because we love little bit of nice flavor going into the meat so now take this paste just apply it inside the gashes so that the chicken gets nice uh, flavor and taste too after you do this just apply a little bit on top and turn it to the other side and now again into the gashes this is good enough now we're going to put it on a plate and i'm going to do the same with all the pieces of chicken philips air fryer with awesome filtering system it creates very little smell compared to your regular frying not only that you can use them for most of your regular cooking there is a very important reason why you want the chicken to be marinated see if it is marinated well and the chicken is tender you can cook at a higher temperature if not you may have to cook at a slightly lower temperature because it will take more time to cook inside especially for samosas and some products you may have to cook it at a reduced temperature whereas meats usually i prefer to cook at high temperature so i'm going to preheat at 200 degree centigrade for around 5 minutes The built-in timer of the Philips air fryer and the temperature up to 200 degrees centigrade with the rapid air technology you can pretty much cook whether fries chicken or any of the foods to nice crispy texture not only that especially when you have guest over this unmonitored cooking with the time control is the best feature that i find very very useful at homes after 5 minutes of uh, preheating we're going to 
pull the basket out and in this you know just arrange the chicken pieces in such a way they're kind of in a standing position kind of thing and if something like this there like this so they can get even heat all the pieces look at this and now we're going to put the basket in we're going to cook it at 200 degrees centigrade for around 10 minutes using Philips air fryer anybody can cook with these because it is so easy and there is no learning curve that there is clear instructions of what food to cook at what time and temperature so you get the perfect results after around 10 minutes we're going to pull it out and we're going to check that it is getting uh, color too much on it then we can reduce the temperature a little bit you know you can go at 180 if the chicken is nice and tender it will be cooked very nicely but you know for any kind of uh, kind of fried meat you need a little bit of fat on top or grilled meat so what we're going to do is we're going to just coat it with a little bit of uh, oil so think, imagine how much oil it would be if you are uh, putting it in a deep fat fryer but here we're just going to take chicken pieces and then just apply a little bit of oil with a brush so this will ensure that the chicken is moist and then we're going to cook it for some more time then you will get nice crispy texture on the outside and it will remain juicy inside now we're going to push this back and another 5 minutes around 14 to 15 minutes of whole chicken leg would be perfect so let's see after 5 minutes we're going to get it nice color and also the chicken will be cooked perfectly this awesome looking Philips air fryer is not just for frying you can try many methods of cooking I've tried baking roasting grilling each time it gives outstanding results and i'm telling you i'm going gaga over with my air fryer i'm so excited i'm so happy because you know my favorite dish is coming out of this and uh, amazing i'm telling you just it is still sizzling here wow because i it's just off and look at this chicken pieces I'm telling you, even from a tandoor, you will not get this awesome uh, chicken. And here, wow, look at it. And you will know that the chicken is perfectly cooked when the meat from the bone is slightly coming off. And this is too hot. I've burned myself eating tandoori chicken just from the hot uh, oil. But here, we are frying it with the air of all the many reasons the most important reason i find is the health just for the health you should get this philips air fryer because the amount of oil it uses is so less that you can enjoy guilt-free cooking just yesterday i was at friend's house and they were making something similar kind of fried chicken and every two minutes this friend's wife was running into the kitchen and checking whether you know chicken is getting cooked or not now looking at this air fryer, it is so wonderful, unmonitored cooking and most reliable of frying is this awesome rapid air frying system. Because you just time it and forget it. You will never have burnt or overcooked product. You know, once you time it correctly, you will always have perfect. Now look at this. You know, the chicken itself will have some kind of fat in it, but brushing will give you a little bit of uh, you know nice tender juiciness and uh, these kind of fried chicken the kind of sauces that go with this nothing just take it mm. wow i'm just loving this so perfect you know nice juicy outside perfect color mm. wow this is how I like my chicken. Ah. I'm just loving this. Every day I enjoy good food as if it's my last meal. That's how thoroughly I enjoy eating food. But fried foods are my favorites and I always have to worry about putting on weight. With Philips air fryer, now I'm relieved that I don't have to worry so much because more than 40% of my calories will be cut down because I'm using air fryer. 
this has become part of my everyday life and most of the cookings I am trying and experimenting. Every time I do something, I am awed by the way this Philip air fryer is frying the food and the results is just awesome. Last time when I cooked some chicken like this, I had three chicken legs on the show. Today I am going to break the record by having four of these chicken pieces because this is super super yummy. Dear friends, this is undoubtedly perfect for lot of fried cooking and if you have any doubts on the recipes, you shouldn't because I am here to play around with the recipes and give you the perfect ones that will work with your air fryer. Today the Philips air fryer may sound very innovative but I am guaranteeing you in the future most of the frying will be replaced by air fryers. Dear friends, I hope you enjoyed today's recipe using Philips air fryer. Very healthy using little or no oil but I want to know what are the recipes you want to prepare using the air fryer. Please let me know through your comments so I can make the dish on this show using Philips air fryer. Till then, see you. Bye bye. Kudafis. Innovation and you. Philips.